We love it every time you're coming through the door. We love it every time you're on the show. I'm so thrilled that you're here, Jimmy. Your first time here first on time the here. show, but not the we've met before. We have. Our paths have crossed. Yes. Yeah. They have. They have. I remember meeting you. I was so starstruck and thrilled. You, no, you were Jimmy. wonderful. First of all, you know how an accomplished actor and comedian and yeah. singer and all that stuff. Well, I don't know about <laughs> you know, No, 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 no. So, come on, come on, come on. You were, you were on Broadway doing I was. Two Governors. And it was a matinee day. It was a matinee day. Yes. And, and somebody came to me, and I, having been on Broadway, I know when you're doing, when you're doing two shows, uh, you, get, you need that break in between. But they asked... The, why well, I heard you were in. You brought your son. We had, I had the loveliest you, you time meeting like you. It was best, gorgeous. Man. Oh, it was so you were beautiful. Like the best. And, and, who, and, and it's just like the wonderment that he has. <laughs> no, Stop. no, about people. He, he's just... Well, I was so people. thrilled to meet you then, and I'm honoured that you're here on the show. Likewise. I really, really am. And I know, yeah. I know that Zach is a big deal for you to be on with Jimmy, yes. because you have a fondness for one of Jimmy's TV shows. Is this correct? Yes, I grew up watching NYPD Blue with my parents. Yeah. And it was, it was formative in that, I don't know if you guys know this, but that was one of the first shows to show a human uh, butt on network television. On network yeah. television, yes. And it was such a profound thing because it was Dennis Franz's butt. <laughs> and I don't know if you're familiar with Dennis Franz, but it's a very, I, I felt that it gave me a degree of body acceptance because in the n 90s, you're just being pelted with these images of James Vanderbeek and Freddie Prince Jr. Mm. But seeing Dennis Franz with his dimpled gray ass. Oh, you really... I know, yeah. And now it's the only way that I can be um, sexually aroused. <laughs> Were you aware of this? Were the, were the NYPD blue cars aware that families like Zach's were gathered in front of the TV, <laughs> I, waiting to look I, I at know, yours and other members' backsides? I know that it was very important for us that when you saw one of those scenes coming up in the script that everybody, why are you in the gym all week? <laughs> right. <laughs> Tighten up. Tighten up. <laughs> Tighten up. <laughs> really? As much as possible. Dennis. Uh, it's wonderful. Yeah. Did this inspire you to want to act, do you think, Zach? Well, you know, I actually, no, because I didn't want, back then I didn't want to be an actor. I wanted to be also police related. I wanted to be a British policeman. Uh, a Bobby. I wanted to be a Bobby. Why? My favorite movie, like all young American boys, was uh, a film rendition of the Pirates of Penzance starring Linda Rodstad and Kevin Klein. Kevin Klein. Right. You know it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a musical by Gilbert and Sullivan where there's these sort of foppish br British bobbies who get into all kinds of mischief and hijinks. And I thought, that's exactly what I want to be when I grow up. And I would fast forward through the scenes where Linda Ronstadt was singing to get to the bobbies doing their thing. And um, I think in retrospect, my parents, I probably like had to come out of the closet as straight to my parents. Right. Because I feel there's a natural presumption that if you are enjoying the sophistication of Gilbert and Sullivan as a that you yes. couldn't be. Or right. arguably a lot of musical theater. Yeah. You, if, you're, if you're a kid who's so into musicals, you have to sit your parents down between the age of about 12 and 18 and, and break it to them that you might be heterosexual, you know? <laughs> That's what you have to do. Now, Jimmy, let's talk about your new series, East New York. Congrats on the show. It's Thank had so the much. highest ratings for any new network show this season. You must be really? thrilled. For anyone who hasn't caught it, tell them what it's about and who you play. Uh, it's, it is about a police precinct in uh, a section of Brooklyn, East New York, section of Brooklyn, where I'm, I'm actually from. Oh. And um, it is about... Uh, inspector who is tasked to become the chief of this particular precinct, this very talented woman who wants to bring different type of policing to the community. Uh. Right. I and mean, it must be kind of amazing to be back filming in the neighborhood that you, that you grew up on. You must be nostalgia on every corner, I'm, right? I'm like rushed with... The, the other day we were shooting uh, scenes at a uh, church parking lot that happened to be the parking lot where my sister had a first communion and got married, and wow. I worked in the building next to it. It's like uh, people come up to me and say, I, my mom said, say hi, she went to high school with you. And so it, it just informs the character in a different kind of way. Well, it's so great. It really is. I'm thrilled that We're it's such a, a huge success for you.